everyone, welcome back to another episode of Noble Vlogs. I am Kyle Noble, and today we're heading back over to the parts store and we're gonna pick up our bearings. They finally came in, and possibly today we are going to be working on the baler. Currently, right now, it is sitting in a neighbor's shop. He's letting us use it for a little bit to get uh, some of our equipment ready for this coming season. We gotta get the baler ready, get the belts all taken out of it, and then we will start taking rollers out, putting new bearings in, putting the rollers back in. We'll show you guys the whole process, all the rollers that need to be changed out, all the bearings that need to be changed out in the rollers. Hopefully we don't have to change any rollers. That gets very pricey. But not a whole lot else is going to be going on. This is probably going to be a multi-day project just because it takes time getting all the rollers out and getting all the bearings out. So, hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy the video. Got one box. Got two boxes. Package secured. Only other thing we probably need is our, do we need the stockings that orange set, I suppose? Go ahead and shut it. Be ashamed if I drop these. Look at these back here. Yeah, they might be a little more. Just a little bit though. Uh, I'm guessing that's supposed to be loose. Not supposed to be. Oh yeah, it's not supposed to be loose. Curious is that bolt's loose. But anyways, here is the 568 round baler. There's actually a piece missing on the baler that we bought. There's supposed to be a bail kicker, and all the bail kicker really does is just when the bail drops out of the bail, baler, it uh, a bar pushes it out and back away. So then that way, the entire tractor and baler does have to back up to dump the bail out and continue bailing. So yeah, we gotta find one. So first thing we gotta do in order to get the rollers out is we gotta get all of the belts out oh, and there's eight of them and down here there's uh longs and shorts because one four of them go on this row down here while four of them stay on the drive roller back there how do you take the belt apart you got little splices right here and there's a rod that goes in between them and holds them together after a while they wear so much that uh, the rods actually begin to break inside of them and but they still hold together we already tried getting one out but it was broken and i think dad's stripping on the second one let's give it a long day Three belts out of the eight, two shorts, and one long. Right now we're not gonna roll the long up because it was actually in three pieces, and so we're guessing that the previous owner must have had problems uh, with that belt, and so they had to put some more splices in it, but most of them, they're broken into two, sometimes three pieces, but this one though, two of the three pieces were actually 
full rods. And we may have to run back home, grab some new rods so then we can get the old rods pushed out. Got number four out. It's our third short. We're halfway there. It's still an upward battle. So we're gonna have to stop at four belts for today. Everything else is in pieces, as you can see. That one is out, but then on this side, it's in. We'll have to get new rods, like I said, push them in, and hopefully they come out. There is a possibility if it's broken into more pieces inside, they'll end up overlapping with each other. And that's an even worse problem. Just to give you kind of an idea, here is the new one. And then here is the old one. You can see it's cut quite a bit. And that's actually a broken piece out of one of the belts. So we gotta work on getting the other piece out and get the last four remaining, <laughs> remaining belts out of the baler. Hmm. What? Just, hmm. You think it went any? Uh, I think it went in a little bit. Not the best. Is your leg there? Yeah. Broken in more than one piece yep. of the and old one. And it's doubled over. Mm. Get that one out. See that how that it is? See there's a piece up there and there's a piece down here. I'm on a piece and I'm on a piece up here. Uh yeah. See how they doubled over? Yep. There's two and two in one spot. Exactly. We got six out now, two left. They're both long belts. Got one long here, one over there, and then this one's a short one. This one though, we're gonna have to cut it because it's all jacked up right there where the splices are all bent. Because there are actually two pieces in there that are overlapping and we can't hammer a new pin in to get them out. And so hopefully, with a little luck, we can get this last one out and not have to cut it. So we got the second to last long out of the baler. Like I said, this one is gonna have to get cut because it's in bits and pieces. And then this one, this other long, it has a double splice in it and we can't get it out. And so we'll have to figure out how to piece that back together. But we got some spells to roll up, just tidy it up some. Dad already did it, and I didn't get it on video. But we finally gave up. We had to cut it just with a simple utility knife works. But that's it. All eight belts are out. We'll have to get the one that we cut re-spliced, but this is a naked baler and a dirty one too. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for me on this video and my dad. You want to say anything? You want to say anything? Not really. Yeah, you, yeah, you do. <laughs> Bye. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, soon we'll be starting to take rollers out and putting the new bearings in them. And it's gonna be fun getting up there, taking the top ones off. But we've done it before and I know for a fact we're gonna do it again eventually. But like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, comment down below what you liked about the video, what you wanna see. 
and I will see you all in the next one. See you guys.